here in the 7 First Alert Weather Center. Tracking a wintry mix on this Tuesday morning. And I wanted to give you an update because for some of us, we haven't really actually seen anything uh, just yet. Or we may not also see much, if anything at all, as we continue through this afternoon. So let's get right to radar and see what we are looking at. Sorry, I've just put something in a spot where I can't see things. But let me take myself off of there. Anyways, we are looking at a mixture of precipitation going on. So yes. Don't necessarily like to use the word precipitation, but uh, this is kind of explaining what we are looking at uh, because it's all four types of precipitation. So the blue color here, that's snow. You can see a little bit of purple flashing every so often, especially over towards Jackson. That is sleet. And then the pink color, that would be freezing rain. And then green, of course, is rain. Also some yellows and oranges indicate some heavier rainfall. So throughout this morning, we've definitely had a lot of our moisture in through Lenaway and Monroe counties, Washtenaw and Southern Wayne County as well. And we have had all sorts of um, types of precipitation, even in one singular spot. So we've had some light snow. We've also had some sleet, which is partially melted snowflakes. Um, and then we've also had some freezing rain, which I never like to forecast, but that is, of course, when it falls as rain and then it touches a surface that's at or below freezing and that would uh, freeze and create icy conditions. So again, mainly that freezing rain is happening in this general area um, here, potentially, I will also say potentially in Lenaway County. Um, and that is because that is where temperatures are hovering around freezing. Most locations in Lenaway County have been above the freezing mark. Uh, so right now, even in Adrian, 34, but outlying areas in the county are probably closer to 32 or even 31 degrees. So that could lead to, again, some icy conditions. So looking at that, um, mainly in Lenaway County, everyone else, though, we've seen a big warm up in the last couple of hours. Uh, so a lot of us are above the freezing mark all the way up now towards Mount Clemens and Pontiac. Um, and then even farther to the north, though, it is, of course, colder there. Now, that's where we actually started off in the teens uh, this morning. So Port Sanilac, Port Huron, and Lapeer, you started off in the teens this morning. It was very cold, but we had clear skies for a majority of last night. Um, and even though you are still below freezing, you're one of the spots, and again, the locations farther to the north, that have a good chance of not seeing any type of precipitation throughout the day today. Um, so again, even though it's cold for you, you're looking at a fairly quiet day compared to some other locations. But as we zoom in again, you can kind of see what we're looking at here. I'm going to pause the radar uh, so that we're able to see um, kind of break it down of what's currently going on. So we are still looking at a light bit of snow. Most of the stuff, though, that's on that front edge here, uh, most of this doesn't really reach the ground. We do have some dry air in place. So if you are seeing it, it's probably flurries. Um, definitely not too worried about accumulation in this general region at the moment. Um, but then back here towards western Washtenaw County, west of Ann Arbor, towards Chelsea, this is where we could get a little dusting of some snow. Even though, again, our temperatures are close to freezing, um, there will be some pockets below that. So western Washtenaw County has our best chance to have snow that sticks and by that honestly it's only going to be at most it would be an inch but probably closer to a half an inch but it does not take much to create some slippery conditions so keep that in mind especially in this general area best chance for snow to stick will be on any unpaved surface so that does leave out a lot of roads but any road that's untreated you again have the potential for the slippery conditions now in Monroe County we've also had our fair share of a mixture of precipitation right now western part of the county looking at some snow towards Peter and then also the northeastern corner of Lenaway County, but like the city of Monroe, all of 275 into 75, it's looking at rain, and then we're mainly looking at some rain now through southern Lenaway County. So a mixture of precipitation throughout the day today. Here's kind of a rough look. This has been updated from yesterday. So if you saw what Dave used, um, I made the changes this morning only because we saw a change in the temperatures happen this morning. Uh, so because of the warming up that happened around about six o'clock this morning, through our southern counties uh, that has again led to a smaller chance of freezing rain now with that said you did see on the map that there was an area that potentially was bringing some freezing rain so falling as rain and then freezing as it touched a surface that was at or below freezing so in that region though still more rain than snow um, i really don't expect much uh if 
any sort of kind of ice accumulation there. But farther to the north, you have the snow sticks. Like I just mentioned, it's not going to be much. At most, it could be an inch, but it would be a half an inch more so or less. And this would be on any unpaved surface. And then farther to the north, we have more snow than rain, uh, but still likely no accumulation through almost all of Oakland County, Macomb County, where we'll see things, and then Wayne County as well. I have left out um, even snow showers up towards Port Huron, Lapeer, and Port Sandlack as well. Um, but that is uh, not going to rule out flurries, I will say that, but most of the moisture will stay to the south with this system. So I'm actually going to zoom out and take a look at this system here. Uh, you'll kind of see how all of this works. So it's going to change a bit. I'm going to add on now red, which now red, which is not our actual radar site, is kind of something different. It's showing this, but this right here, the snow line that I'm pointing out with the blue arrow, that's actually just clouds. So we're not seeing that up there. Um, but it just helps kind of pick up all of our radar sites around the region. And so I'm going to zoom out and you can see the storm system. Now, the center of it is actually well off to the south. So this is just this frontal band that has kind of moved up. So the center of the storm is so far away from us. That's why anything that we are going to continue to see throughout this morning is going to be quite light, so not expecting uh, really anything too crazy. It's just the, enough to, you know, be prepared for slippery conditions. That's honestly the biggest story with this weather um, as it moves through. So again, center of the storm is actually well down to the south. It's going to move through the Ohio River Valley as we move throughout the day today. So taking a look at Futurecast here, I'm going to add, oh, you know, it's not going to move because it's updating as we're speaking. So once it updates, then it pauses for a second. So I don't want to show that, but. Um, uh, we are going to be looking at our rain chances kind of going down as we continue throughout the day. So this morning we have our most widespread activity. Later today we'll have still chances for some showers, but it'll be more spotty. And we will still have a chance for both rain and snow showers, even though our temperatures are going to be near about uh, 40 degrees in the afternoon. A lot of us will stop at 38 and 39. A few of us will get to 40, maybe even 41 degrees, but that's what we're looking at for today. Um, so again, tracking this kind of messier pattern or at least wave coming through right now. I'll take out the clouds and we'll kind of zoom into some of the regions here. Uh, through the city of Detroit, this is what we're looking at right now. As you can see, some lighter snow through Detroit. I want to see if I've got if my sky cams on the city and if we can see. Okay, nope. Whoopsie. Why is that showing that? Nope. Obviously not talking about the beach. Let's see if I can do this real quick. What is going on with this scene? Okay, well that's weird. Oh, I know what it is. Okay, that's my fault. We don't have cameras going into the computer that I'm currently using. So that would explain what was going on. That was our default image. Okay, so anyways, good chance to see some light snow showers possibly through most of Wayne County. So the city of Detroit, even off towards Gross Point, um, maybe getting to you. Otherwise, though, it would be very light in this region. I did have a report earlier out towards Northville of some sleet. So again, that's the partially melted snowflakes. Um, but you can see back here, the radar returned a lot more uh, vivid, bright, solid, so good chance to be looking at some snow showers uh, south of Ann Arbor, off towards Ypsilanti, and then back towards Manchester, up towards Chelsea, and then also just to the southwest of Pinckney. So yes, looking at um, a good chance. And this is again going to be the spot that does have the best potential to see any sort of accumulation. Uh, it will be mainly from Howell South um, and potentially as far east as maybe South Lyon, but at this moment, obviously you can tell there's not much even falling and a lot of the moisture will stay to the south. As we head a little farther to the south, speaking of that, Adrian and Lenaway County, I mean, this is the county that uh, has the continual chance of seeing a mixture of everything. Again, Adrian's temperature right now is 34 degrees, but surrounding spots are anywhere from 31 to 34 degrees. So anytime you're below freezing, even though here on radar it's showing rain, um, this could be, there could be some smaller pockets of freezing rain, depending on what the specific temperature is in that pocket. Uh, this pink here is indicating freezing rain. So looking at a better chance of this up here. It's likely because we have the colder temperatures up here in the northern part of the county um, and then even farther off to the west for us towards Jackson, probably a bit more dicey in that region. Now Monroe County at this moment, it's mainly been rain, but interior Monroe County has definitely been 
a bit on the colder side, so Whiteford uh, up towards Summerfield and Dundee, looking at a potential, at least see some mixing going on or some sleet, so partial melting of the snowflakes. Uh, right now, reporting kind of snow through that region um, and otherwise looking at some rain showers. So continuing to track this, I'll put this into motion, zooming out a little bit, and you'll loop it through again. So you can see a big movement more so from west to east than up to the northeast. So we're not seeing much push more, much more push, I should say, to the northeast like we were seeing earlier as the showers were arriving. So a lot more of a lateral movement across the region with the showers as of now, which means the farther north that you live, the better chance again not to see anything at all as we continue throughout the day. Um, you also can note here too, especially if you look over the last couple frames, we are starting to get a couple more breaks within the showers, which is also indicating that more of the moisture is leaving us. And um, we're going to continue to see that trend as we move through this afternoon. So our shower coverage is going to become less and less as we head throughout the day. Uh, and let's see if we've got this model up just yet. I know this starts at nine o'clock. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see where time. So this is the graph model. This is about 10 o'clock. And if I put it into motion, you can see again, uh, to note here, this is about one o'clock. So the lunch hour, still some showers, but also still mainly focused, uh, almost drawing a line right along I-96 or 696 and south. That's going to be kind of our line of better chance for showers and then better chance to not see anything at all um, as we continue through the day. Now we get closer to, and it's still loading those last couple of frames. So uh, as we get towards the afternoon, you can see some of the breaks happening. We will see more breaks happen, uh, though our shower chance does not completely end until later tonight, late in the evening and then into early tonight. So we'll still keep it mentioned, but again, coverage will be much less as we continue throughout the day. So still tracking kind of everything this morning. If you have any questions about what it may be like in your area, uh, what you may be seeing as well. Um, just let me know. But again, this is what we're looking at. A lot of clouds now off to the north. We've got snow showers mainly on the northern edge of this, of course, with just our temperatures, uh, but likely to see some sleet and even some rain being mixed in this location with our temperatures hovering close to freezing. And then um, closer to the state line, definitely seeing a mixed bag. We have warmer air farther to the south, so it has pushed in. Um, the question is, though, are we looking at some cold pockets? Pockets that are still remaining, pockets that are 32 degrees or colder. That's where we could still be looking at, again, all the types of precipitation other than rain. So freezing rain, sleet, or even some snow. Um, thankfully, though, again, this storm system, oops, took off the wrong thing. Uh, thankfully, though, the yes, we're seeing a messy mix, so we're seeing all four types of precipitation. The good news is all of them are light, so we're not worried about shoveling snow. We're not worried about a lot of salt having to be applied to battle the ice. No, that's not the case. We're looking at a little bit of snow and then only a small portion maybe seeing some accumulation um, on any unpaved surface, and that's only about a half an inch. And again, that's mainly in through northern Washtenaw County, southern Livingston County, um, and then even farther off to the west. So that's our best chance to see any sort of accumulation in terms of snow. Um, otherwise, though, ice accumulation would be very minimal, but still be prepared. It does not take much. Just that little bit can create slippery conditions. Uh, even on, think about steps, um, those are elevated off the ground, so they're not receiving the warmth. So maybe taking a step down your porch, that could be slippery. So just be cautious out there. Over the next couple of hours, our highs are going to be near 40 again today, like I mentioned. So that will continue to allow things to melt, which is some good news. Um, but I want to give you a quick peek um, before I sign off here. Just wanted to give an update. Sorry, this is loading. So that's why the screen you see here is dark. Uh, just look at our seven day forecast. So we are going to be looking at quieter weather returning. I know it looks dry now for the rest of the seven day after today, but there is another chance for rain. It's going to be Thursday night. Um, but right now it's looking to now be focused on overnight. So meaning we'll make it through the day on Thursday dry. It's going to be cloudy. It'll be near 50. And then our best chance for rain will be in the early morning hours. So like close to 3 a.m. Friday morning, which means by the time we get to daybreak on Friday, we're likely to be dry again. Still keeping the clouds, still looking at near 50 degrees. We have light up the season on Friday, which is great as well. Of course, a lot of people coming down to the city of Detroit. We should be looking at dry conditions and relatively warm. Again, I know you see that 50 on Friday, but think about it. You know, the tree lighting happens later in the evening, so probably more so low to mid 40s uh, for the event. Um, Friday evening, also we've got the North Bowl Lighted Parade that's going on on Friday. There's also various other events going on too, so uh, keep that in mind for Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. I know we've got continuing events and then also more even going into next week. So that's kind of what we're looking at. The forecast does become a bit quieter as we get through the next couple of 
days. If you're looking ahead towards Thanksgiving, we are still obviously about nine days away from that, so things can definitely change. Um, it does look like we will see some storms, maybe one Wednesday into Thursday, and then maybe one Friday into Saturday. As of right now, it looks to bring us mainly rain showers, so that's some good news. Uh, maybe some snow to the UP, which would be nice because, of course, up there, you know, outdoor winter sports thrive. Uh, we're hoping to, you know, get some good snow for skiing, for snowmobiling, you name it. So there's a chance for that with the storm systems, um, but travel wise, you should be pretty good. Uh, and even actually the central part of the country might be fairly quiet uh, uh, for both leading into Thanksgiving and then also after Thanksgiving. Um, and then we're looking at, you know, towards the East Coast. So if you're going towards New York or that way, yes, you're at least going to run into the rain and maybe some other um maybe we'll see some mixtures as you go farther up the east coast um, and then if you're going to florida if you're doing that for it Thanksgiving. It's looking like down there itself will be fine, but if you're flying out on Wednesday or Thursday, you might just have some turbulence as the storm that'll bring us rain may bring some storms off to the south. But of course, pilots, you know, they know how to fly through that. That's at least what I always try to say and remind myself. Pilots know how to handle the turbulence and fly. And they've got good flight plans. I'm not a good flyer, can you tell? Um, but anyways, uh, that's your forecast. I'm going to put up the radar uh, one more time here so you're able to see it. I'll take my image off so you don't have to see me and I probably next time will put it in a spot so you don't have to see me leaning over. But if you have any questions on this radar, I'll loop it just a little bit too so you're able to see here and kind of what it looks like. Again, I'll take off the clouds. Again, blue here is snow, green is rain. Same with the yellow and orange. That's just some steadier rain. And then otherwise, we are looking at a little bit of freezing rain though. Even in these last couple of frames, if you're noticing that area that radar's indicating could have freezing rain is getting smaller, which uh, is a good indication because we do have some warmer air in place down through Lenawee County. So that would be good. Freezing rain is never any fun. Um, I don't like to talk about that for our winter weather. It's not even pretty to have things icy. It's just more dangerous than anything other than that. But I'll leave the radar up for just a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, but there was, that's what we've got going on for your Tuesday morning. Again, once we get through this initial batch, it'll get quieter uh, and less dicey as we get through this afternoon. Temperatures will be warming and shower coverage will be even less. Um, if you are just joining again to the north, we are looking at fairly quiet conditions today. I wouldn't rule out a couple flurries, but that's about it. If you live south of 96, that's our best chance to continue to see more snow and rain showers, though it will start to taper down this evening, or excuse me, this afternoon, and then end by later this evening and high temperatures today upper 30s and low 40s so there's a quick snippet of your forecast this will be the active the most active day this week and then we do get to quieter conditions uh, but not necessarily feeling like winter this is our one taste of winter and then it warms back up close to 50 for the back half of the week so I guess if you want some winter feels this is what you got if you're not ready for it yet and if you're like me and want to hang your holiday lights we're looking at some better conditions this weekend and later this week as well. So that's something to look forward to um, if that is on your to-do list. Again, you can hang them up if you're like me and don't turn anything on until after Thanksgiving. That is fine as well. So, uh, okay. Anyways, I'll stop rambling on. There's a look at your radar. Be careful out there if you do run into any slippery conditions. I don't expect widespread bad conditions, but of course, we'll see a couple spots of some slippery or dicey conditions. Otherwise, stay safe and have a great rest of your Tuesday.